How can we practice? How do we practice saying no? What if we're people pleasers and we don't, we just don't want to hurt people? I so am a people pleaser. I want everyone to like me to the point that I have Google alerts set up and if someone on a blog or a review says something about me or a performance that is not favorable, I'll go there, I'll leave a comment and say you were absolutely right. I agree with you. I made bad mistakes there and um, you know, I hope you'll give me another chance. In an effort to get that person, which they usually do, to then say, oh, well, you know, I'll, for sure, I'm glad you, thanks for writing, and I'll be looking for you in the future. Like, it's pathological with actors that we have to have, everybody has to like us, and our relationship with everybody has to be okay. I don't know any actor who likes to have someone they think does not like them. I have one wardrobe person in the hundred projects I've done who doesn't like me. I hung the hanger the wrong way, and it was early on, and I didn't know the way to hang the hanger, but I was trying to be nice and instead I made extra work for her. And I'm still looking for a chance to work with her again to make her like me. Is that sick? So what's a soft <laughs> no and what's a hard no? Because some people are really good at hard no's and they enjoy being the contrarian and they enjoy being the one in control. But how do you do a soft no? Oh, you better do soft no's in LA or you ain't gonna work. If all you can do is hard no's, Forget it, because you insult people. Um, a hard no is, Karen, you're crazy. Why would I work on your project? I will never, ever work with you or anybody that you know again, because I've said that. And how many people will you tell that? But a soft no is, I really, really love this project. And I love the role. And I want to do it. And I wish that I were financially stable enough to be able to pick and choose my roles, because if I did, I'd be on your set today. I'm just not able to do it right now, and I feel really bad about it, and I'm embarrassed to even mention it to you. But I hope you might find it in your heart to forgive me for not being able to work with you. That's an extreme soft wow. no. That was beautiful. Oh. But I mean it. I always mean it. You know, you never tell somebody, no. You always say, oh my gosh, you know, I'm so sorry. I wish, I really wish I could and I want to, but I just can't right now. But in the future, I really want to work with you because, and this, this is another thing, actors coming to LA need to realize people love to be stroked. They love to be stroked. Look up the IMBD. What have they done? Research them on the web. I really want to work with you in future, even though I'm saying now because I like what you did on ABCD. Then you've built a relationship within the know. That's the way to do it. I like that. Now, your representation can give a hard no, and then you can say, oh my gosh, you know, what are you gonna do? I'm sorry, my manager, my agent are such hard asses, but I really love you. Keep your personal relationship good. Is there anything in this business that's real? Hearing myself talk, I'm wondering, is this entirely a business of illusion? Possibly. Yeah, yeah, but I, I think what you're saying is, is correct in terms of like the, the coldness and being able to, to even on that red carpet, because that, that little part is just such a minuscule part and that's what everybody sees. Yeah. And, and they don't see where you walk into rooms and you feel the vibe and it's not as friendly or it's not, you know, and it's not to be negative, you know, we're trying to be more positive with our film courage interviews, but I, I think people from other parts don't realize that it, it is tough, and, and I think it's good that you're giving a, a healthy dose of reality, and you're not sugarcoating coating it, and you know, you know follow the, your dreams, and money will fall. You know that that kind of thing. I'm, I'm I think the only reason to do this is because you feel that you were born to do it, and so that's why you put up with all the crap, and that's why you think through all the business strategy, and that's why you do it all is because it feeds something inside of you to pretend to be other people, or to create stories where other people pretend to be other people. I have no idea where that comes from, but I think it's an inborn vocation. That's the only kind of person that should be an actor. And then your satisfaction is actually getting to do what you love for a living if you do all this other stuff. So I answer my own question by saying that's what's real. The passion that's within us, that's what's real. And you have to keep that burning and keep it alive even as you go through all of the business. And if you're able to sit in a cubicle five days a week and then just go to movies and live all that out on the weekends, then it's great, but don't come 
to Hollywood. <laughs>